Another example for fluctuations at equilibrium is that of the Brownian motion of a particle. Imagine that you have small uh, solid spherical particles whose dimensions are uh, in the range 100 nanometers to micrometers and we see that these droplets are suspended inside a liquid droplet. Uh, what we observe in this case is that these droplets keep moving uh, around randomly and uh, if you think about what is the reason behind this because the, the solid particles uh, have random collisions with the much smaller uh, water uh, molecules or liquid molecules uh, in which they are suspended. And uh, the effect is quite noticeable when you look at it under the microscope and that's because uh, every time we have a collision uh, with these uh, liquid particles, smaller liquid particles, or between themselves, the impulse that they get from these random collisions create a noticeable effect uh, due to simple uh, law of uh, second law of Newton, uh, basically that says F equals ma. If you have a small mass, a particle that has a very small mass, the the force that is exerted on this particle will have a noticeable uh, effect on its acceleration, and this was explained by. Einstein in 1905 and it's quite a remarkable phenomenon. So let me summarize uh, what I said about the Brownian motion. We have a small uh, solid particles. Uh, these are uh, in a fluid. The dimensions of the particles uh, are in the range 100 nanometers to a micrometers range. And what we observe is that uh, the, these particles um, fluctuate. due to random collisions with the smaller um, fluid particles. For example, if we do this in water, these would be uh, water molecules, or it could be due to collisions between themselves as well. So why is this fluctuation so noticeable and easily measurable? Well, first of all, we have a small number of them, small number of uh, particles, and then we have a small mass. So every time we have a random collusion uh, between the particles and the fluid particles, uh, we're going to see the manifestation of Newton's second law, F equals ma, uh, this, is, this means you have m uh, small for constant f a large. Uh, the force is going to be coming from the uh, impulse that they receive du during each collision. So this effect, Brownian motion, was explained uh, first by Einstein uh, in 1905. So uh, if you remember, we talked about fluctuations in equilibrium uh, and we can see uh, small fluctuations in macroscopic parameters, which can be detected easily if the system is small or with sensitive methods. So in this case, the system is small and uh, it doesn't take too much of an effort to observe the Brownian motion. Uh, I strongly recommend uh, watching the, the YouTube video link that I give to this one, uh, which is going to demonstrate to you in an experimental setup how the Brownian motion works.